The United States Air Force has officially renamed its F-22 Raptor Combined Test Force CTF, the Air Dominance Combined Test Force ADCTF, and assigned it the duty of conducting flight tests for the next generation Air Dominance family of systems. The service announced on June 30 in a press release that the Edwards Air Force Base had formed the Air Dominance Combined Test Force to conduct testing for the NGAD program. The Air Dominance CTF will continue to evaluate upgrades for the F-22 to retain lethality against urgent threats, according to the service. The ADCTF will also be critical in planning and carrying out integrated flight test campaigns for the next generation Air Dominance family of systems. This dual emphasis ensures the F-22's sustained effectiveness, while also promoting the development and testing of NGAD technology and systems. Lt. Col. Michael Coleman, leadership of the 411th Flight Test Squadron, said in a statement that the formation of the Air Dominance Combined Test Force represents a change toward better integration and combat effectiveness, while influencing the future of air warfare. Coleman stated that the CTF would be critical in fielding a variety of modern platforms and systems via NGAD, allowing the Air Force to establish air superiority even in highly contested settings. The mission would leverage Edwards Air Force Base's long-standing expertise in exploiting shared resources throughout the test industry to provide safe and cutting-edge capabilities for the warfighter, according to the U.S. Air Force. We celebrated 70 years of having no combat losses due to an aerial attack in April, Coleman stated. This CTF is dead set on ensuring that legacy lives on. The Air Dominance CTF, according to the military, brings together personnel from developmental test, operational test, program offices, and support contractors. This collaborative effort enables the ADCTF to do extensive system testing, evaluating both contracted design specifications and real-world operational settings. By combining these two testing areas, the ADCTF hopes to ensure that capability development is in line with the needs of the warfighter. This method will allow for the immediate release of improved capabilities that are relevant and effective in dynamic operational circumstances. The formation of the Air Dominance Combined Test Force shows the U.S. Air Force's proactive response to developing challenges, particularly in light of near-peer opponents, such as China's rapid military modernization initiatives. According to some sources, the Chinese aerospace industry could have achieved notable advancements with the successful maiden flight of the J-20 stealth aircraft, equipped with domestically developed WS-15 engines. To deter and confront modern threats, the service views the NGAD program's crewed fighter component and highly autonomous advanced drones as the key pillars of its future force structure. Secretary of the U.S. Air Force Frank Kendall issued a statement highlighting the USAF's commitment to the Next Generation Air Dominance Program during his keynote talk at the Air Force Association AFA, Warfare Symposium on March 7, 2023. In concept, Secretary Kendall revealed the USAF's intention to deploy 200 NGAD aircraft and approximately 1,000 collaborative combat aircraft. Furthermore, he stated that the USAF will seek financing for the development of these sophisticated systems in the fiscal 2024 budget. Kendall noted that the notional 1,000 figure is predicated on two for each of the 200 NGAD platforms and two more for every 300 F-35s. The exact number of NGAD platforms that the U.S. Air Force intends to purchase has been kept secret. The disclosure of the notional figure of 200 NGAD platforms, on the other hand, is significant because it exceeds the present inventory of F-22 Raptor fighter jets, which the NGAD program is planned to replace around 2030. The Air Force Department submitted a confidential solicitation to the industry in May. The goal of this request was to begin the process of selecting a contractor for the next-generation Air Dominance Platform Engineering and Manufacturing Development contract. Furthermore, the race to supply the U.S. Air Force with the next-generation Air Dominance 6th generation crewed fighter has reached a critical juncture, with only two major contractors remaining. The selecting process is set to wrap up next year. This selection procedure is viewed as a winner-take-all competition, implying that the selected contractor will most likely be awarded the contract to design and deliver the NGAD 6th generation fighter. The decision has enormous consequences for the U.S. Air Force's future capabilities and technical breakthroughs.